Hi folks, welcome back to the floor of CP Plus. Somewhat ironically, I'm currently right in front of the Nikon booth filming back at Next Storage because they're so packed out, I just can't get close enough to actually speak and be heard there. I had a little look around. It's really great to see their range is expanding. If you haven't seen it, I did a video in LA testing out their CF Express Type B cards and they're, at the time, were the fastest that I had ever tested. You can check out my complete CF Express testing. There's a free download that goes through all of the different cards that I've tested over at my website, learn.mattgranger.com. And I also have a bunch of sales up for CP+. You can see a link to those in the description below. Don't miss out, they don't last too long. So they've now expanded the range out and it's great to see they now have the generation 2B2 Pro, which is using the latest generation of uh, CF Express. Now, one thing to note, whilst these are, are theoretically just so much faster again, there's currently no cameras on the market that actually support these. So you're not going to see a performance increase necessarily using the B1 versus the B2 in things like your Nikon Z9 already the fastest cameras, but they don't have the architecture inside to take advantage of the extra capability of CF Express Type B. However, where you will see that is when you're using their latest card readers in your workflow. When you go to back these up, I did a little test on their computer. They had it set up running to their upcoming SSD and it is blisteringly fast. So in that situation, you're going to see the speed difference writing from a fast card reader onto a really fast SSD, you should realize the difference there. I haven't actually had the chance to test them out side by side myself. In terms of SSDs, beyond the new super fast ones they have coming in a few months, they already have out this little guy, which is about the same speed as like a Samsung T7 or SanDisk Extreme Pro. However, it's much, much smaller. You can see how it could work when you're rigging out your camera to record directly to an SSD. Size matters in that case. The other thing that was great to see is CF Express Type A. I'm currently filming on the Sony A9 Mark III. Amazing camera, incredibly fast, but it does come with the limitation of smaller capacity, higher expense cards because CF Express Type A is made by fewer manufacturers and it has just, there's no getting around it, it has a lower. Uh, capacity. It's not engineered or in the specification to be able to get nearly as fast as CF Express Type B. But these guys are making uh, two ranges of cards again up to some crazy number like almost 2,000 gigabytes which if you're using a camera like an A9 III or an A1 with insane frames per second you may find yourself actually filling up. If you are a CF Express user, like I say, I've thoroughly tested the CF Express Type B. I've also used the SD cards, both incredibly fast. Haven't used CF Express A just yet, and I'm looking forward to test out the SSDs. But if you're in the market to get one of these cards, they are incredibly well made, and as I said, the fastest that I have tested for the CF Express B, the B1 Pros that I've used. Let me know any questions you have. I'll be around for another day here at CP Plus and I'll have the chance to come back if you need anything followed up. Cheers guys, I'll see you soon.